let's go inside the ice here. Do you, do you recognize here? It's a some place in Europe, actually in France. Uh -huh. um, maybe, maybe that is quite iconic for this area. So it's actually Grenoble. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is Grenoble in France. And uh, we can walk. So, so I can choose a walking direction. So for example, this green dot now indicates I'm using a keyboard for the walking and this green dot uh, shows our orientation. So if you want to walk this street, I can now control and ah. walk in this street. So it's basically... I remember the, uh, this, uh, this small square. Um, Do you know that one? Yeah, yeah. So, so I spent one year uh, over there. Uh, on the other yeah, one. great, great. Yeah, so I guess it changed very much, isn't it? But maybe these buildings maybe are, are quite old, so they should not have changed too much. But uh, yeah, Michina Sensei actually told me that, so I was wondering which location is nice, so I choose a green over for this. And yeah, so yeah, I think this is quite an iconic place, so I was choosing, so which place is a nice for, for Grenoble University or this? But this is probably city center, right? Yeah. I'm not, I'm from Germany, I'm from, <laughs> from, I'm from Germany, yeah, so I've, I've not visited Grenoble before, just virtually, so I was choosing which is a good starting place, so I decided it was nice to recognize the place, I'm very happy about that. Yeah, so basically we can choose uh, any direction to go, and Google has covered a lot of um, the city, so we can walk anywhere, like for example we can decide to go in this direction. So this works pretty well. And we can also jump other locations. So now if I push a button, you will be in Japan. <laughs> Do you recognize that one? <laughs> it's very near to here, actually. It's um, around 10.30 in Arachiyama. So we could also do the same thing, so we could walk the different streets. But uh, what I want to actually show you today also is that we are not alone. So we have uh, two ICs also connected to this one at Yoshida campus right now. And in these two ICs, we have um, Nishida Sensei and one student of us who helped us to develop, and I want to welcome them. Hello, Nishida Sensei. Hi. Hello, Divishko. First, really sorry, we cannot hear you. Now we can hear you. Nagao Sensei, I'm going to be so much to you. Thank you very much. He's a new student from New Zealand, and he's called Divishko. He's going to be so much to you. Hello, Divishko. Hello, Divishko. Hello, Divishko. あのこのプロジェクトはですねあの世界のいろんな場所を楽しみながらあの会話をみんなで一緒に会話するっていうのがプロジェクトでございまして今からちょっとその簡単なデモをご覧に入れたいと思いますはいはいありがとうございます西田先生、ディビシ、Thank you very much for joining So how about taking a virtual walk into Tenryuji So it's a nice environment here So let's go inside the temple Okay, so let me change my direction Okay, yeah, so let's start to walk inside. It's quite a beautiful place, actually. Yeah. You can walk inside in a very small, small way. Yes, yes. Um, actually, data in the Google is a kind of a discrete data, so uh, every 10 meters we have a data point, so this, this explains this jumpy uh, behavior, which we try to improve in the future, so we want to use that data actually okay. to create a very smooth motion also. But if you walk slowly, it's a something similar to walking motion. I think about 10 meters. It's a, yeah. The temple is quite far away, so it's about 300 meters from the street. So we have to walk a lot. But so at this point, I would like to go into our left direction. I discovered there's data available. So recently, Google updated their database. They use something called um, Street View Tracks, where people actually have a camera mounted and they are walking around, so they're not just using um, car data, car mounted cameras. Okay, let's walk to this building there. So actually now I'm wondering which way to go, so Nishida Sensei, what do you think? Should we go to our right or should we go to our left? Maybe right. Okay, let's try right way. What can we find there? Oh, that's interesting, yeah. Some small buildings. Actually, I don't know <laughs> what these buildings are, but uh, this temple environment is very nice, very beautiful. I like it very much. Yeah, I, I also like, I've never been to um, Arashiyama before, so this is new to me. 
It's new to you? Yeah, it looks fun. It looks very nice. It's great. Now you don't need to go there actually. Yeah. <laughs> you did it already. <laughs> okay, so maybe some uh, final remarks uh, from Nishida Sensei. Yes. Nao Sensei, Kyo, Honto, and Domo, Arigato, Gozaimashita. Thank you. このプロジェクトはあの日本外国の人が日本文化を学んでいただいたりあるいは日本の人があの外国の文化を学ぶといったまあいろんな学習環境として使えるんじゃないかと思っておりましてまあこれから開発を続けていきたいと思います今日はどうもありがとうございましたどうもありがとうございましたどうもありがとうございましたありがとうございましたありがとうございましたありがとうございましたありがとうございました Um, so basically, we are using a, now a Kinect camera. Mm -hmm. So by this camera, we can scan a 3D model of your body and transmit that model into the other location. Mm -hmm. So then we render it on top of that imagery. There, there, uh, yeah, there are time. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So they can hear you talking through, through microphones. Microphones are installed also in this camera. And uh, the same is vice versa, so it's bi directional. So basically, uh, now at this, uh, at this time, still Nishida says he can hear us. So it's easy, it's still. Yeah, so it's, it's just, it's really real time, basically. Ah, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for your interest. Yeah, we are very happy. Nao-sensei, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.